Welcome back, YouTube, to yet another episode of Shenanigans Guy Plays Trails of Cold Steel. Last time we finished our three assignments for the day, the, uh, well, not just last time, the last few times we've, uh, spent our first day in Celtic here, uh, familiarizing ourselves with the town and her people, and we completed our three tasks, which was getting some medicinal items for Father Zerbal, um, replacing a, right. an orbal light to repel monsters along the West Celtic Highway for uh, Samus. And the last one was, ah, yes, yes, the monster quest for the farmers on uh, East Celtic Highway. Then we came back and had a uh, disagreement that was going on in the Celtic market with uh, this gentleman right here and a gentleman in the back. This one right here. They both somehow managed to get the same um, permit for the same stall. And yeah, they were fighting. We broke them up and manager Otto uh, came in and solved the issue for the time being. Uh, we then had a chat with him and learned that he was the ones that was assigning us our quests. And then we came out and went and did a hidden side quest, which was a rather fun little moment of the class seven members uh, attempting to be salesmen at this store. Anyway, now it is time to advance the story to the next day. If I can remember which side the ends on. That side, yes. We shall advance the story after I save because I have. Uh, I need to make sure, just in case things crash, you know. We, we, we don't want things to happen. Return to the inn for dinner, or stay outside. <laughs> We've done everything we need to do, so I think we are going to return to the inn for dinner. And dusk falls. Or is that... Is that dusk? No, dusk is when the sun is setting, isn't it? Or is that just evening? Is this evening? It's nighttime! It's dark outside, and there's moonlight. It is nighttime. We'll just go with that, because it's much easier. And I am somehow very uneducated, apparently. <laughs> Serious stare. Ah, oh, that was delicious! Those are some seriously fresh vegetables, too. Yeah, nothing beats food made from local ingredients. I quite enjoyed the rye bread myself. I suppose this whole field study thing isn't so bad when you take the menu into account. I wonder what the others in Group B are doing right now. Arguing. Somehow I doubt they're sitting around a table and talking like we are. That would certainly be a shock if they were. Dot dots. Dot dots. I can't help but question what exactly Class 7's purpose is, though. Instructor Sarah says it's about Arcus, but I don't think that's the only reason we've been brought together. I'm certain it's not. If that were all, today's field study tasks would serve little purpose. It seems as though she's trying to make us experience... I don't know. Things. Like all kinds of things, big and small. What I can't wrap my head around, though, is why. Yeah. Not that. that. Instead of trying to put everything in its place, why don't you just go with the flow for a change? It seems like you're desperately trying to find something. But if you don't plant yourself somewhere, you're just going to blow away with the next big gust that comes along. What do we have to offer one another when our reasons for enrolling in Thor's in the first place are undoubtedly very different? Surprise. Our reasons? I hadn't considered that. My reason for enrolling was quite simple. I aim to come ever closer to my goal. Or rather, to the person whom I regard as such. Your father? Who's that? <laughs> this is neither the time nor the place to discuss such matters. Best to save that topic for another day. What about you, Elisa? Why did you enroll at the Academy? Hmm. There's no one single reason, but... I think I just wanted to assert my independence. I mean, my situation back at home isn't exactly ideal, and this seems like a good way to get out and do more, I guess. I see. Hmm. 
It sounds like I'm probably in the minority then. See, I wasn't intending on coming here at all originally. I wanted to do something completely different. You did? Oh yeah, you said you were really hoping you'd get into a music academy, right? Oh? <laughs> well, I wasn't that serious about it or anything. What about you, Reen? You're the last holdout, and since you're the one who brought it up, it's only fair you answer the question, too. Guys. Me? Hmm. I asked the question, yet I had not thought about my own response. Yes, that actually happens in real life. I wanted to find myself, I guess. Find yourself? Huh? <laughs> what's what's what? Sorry. That makes it sound like a much bigger deal than it actually is. That's the best way I can think of to put it, though. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Going on a journey of self-discovery? It's actually a pretty cool answer. Yeah, I had no idea you were such a romanticist. You sure don't come across as one. <sighs> I shouldn't have said anything. <sighs> Serious face. So, you want to... You want me to wake you up at 6 tomorrow, right? Yes, please. We only have until tomorrow evening, so we need to get an early start. We really appreciate it. Not a problem at all. Have a good night. Good night. <sighs> but we're not actually going to sleep yet, are we? Not until we write our reports for the day. I want to shut off my brain so badly right now, but it doesn't look like that's happening anytime soon. <laughs> she seems to have forgotten all about the room situation, and I'm not about to remind her. Reen? Yes? Hmm? What is it? I was unsure whether to ask or not, but I've decided that this question bears answering. Why have you chosen to hold back? What? Your sword style and technique. It is the Eight Leaves One Blade School, is it not? <sighs> Popularized by the sword hermit, Yoon Kafai, it combines the best elements of other Eastern sword styles. Those who master any of its forms are referred to as a divine blade and are said to understand the true nature of all things. You certainly know an awful lot about it. I didn't think it was particularly renowned here in the Empire. We of the Arsaid School consider the studying of other swordsmanship styles to be an essential part of our training. In addition, my father once told me, if you follow the path of the sword, it is only a matter of time before you encounter a follower of the Eight Leaves. Your father said that? <laughs> it's an honor to be acknowledged by the Radiant Blade Master himself. <laughs> I'm nothing special, though. I'm just a dropout who's never even been able to progress past beginner level. I did train under Master Ka Fai for a while, but I started to feel like I couldn't go any further with my abilities, and he cut my training short. W what? So I'm really not holding back. Honest, I actually kind of feel like I'm dirtying the good name of the Eight Leaf School, in fact. But this is my limit. I'm sorry I can't quite live up to your expectations. <sighs> Laura? You have no reason to apologize to me. This is a matter you must come to terms with on your own. Though I'll admit to some disappointment, I was hoping you'd prove to be a good sparring partner. I... I'm going to practice outside for a bit. Please go and finish your report with Elisa and Elliot. Ah, she must be really disappointed. <sighs> There's a lot he doesn't want to talk about, huh? I can see in his eyes sometimes that he's bottling something up and trying really hard to keep anyone else from noticing. You've noticed it too? <laughs> you sure have taken quite an interest in him. I, I was just trying to work out the best time to apologize, that's all. It's not like I've been consciously paying attention to him or anything, honestly. <laughs> Reen's not the only one bottling up his feelings, though, is he? You've been doing the same thing. I... Yeah, I guess I have.
And we have 18. 18 AP. Keep up the good work. Field study day, 425, septing calendar, 1204. Sunday. Here are your tasks for the day. The market manager left them with me. Thank you. Field study envelope, April. Field study day two ta assigned tasks. West killed the Kaiway monster on red. West killed the Kaiway monster. Client, market manager Otto. A large, ferocious monster has been sighted on the West killed the Kaiway. We would all be happier if someone took it out. Monster, Zwardar. Location, Stone Bridge leading to Heimdall on the West killed the Kaiway. Market manager Otto. Market. Market? Did I say market manager? Market manager. Lost wallet. Task. Lost wallet. Client. Merchant Lizzie. Yesterday I found a wallet on the floor in front of my stall. Would someone be willing to find its owner for me? See me at my ceramic star stall and I'll tell you more. Man, why do I have such a hard time with words? Jeez. I can just hear everybody laughing at me through the internet. Huh, even fewer than yesterday. Maybe he gave us less work to do because he knew we were going back to Trista today? Sounds about right. He is a very considerate man. The last train headed your way leaves here around 9 tonight. You ha you get those done quickly enough, you can have dinner here before you leave. Ah, thank you very much. We greatly appreciate your kindness. Shall we get started then? Sweat, sweat, sweat. Sounds good. Hmm... Looks like today's tasks are all optional. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, Laura. I wanted to apologize for what I said to you yesterday evening. Surprise? Uh, green? As I told you then, this is a matter you must come to terms with on your own. It is not something for which an apology is required. That's not really what I mean. I wanted to apologize for making light of the way of the sword. Exclamation. Dot. What I said about being a dropout who's never been able to progress past beginner level was disrespectful. To Master Kafai, to the school I follow, and to the path of the sword itself. And for those reasons, I feel that I was, it was inappropriate for me to say what I said. So, I'm sorry. Dot dot dot. If that's the case, then there is one other person you should be apologizing to as well. Thoughts? I can't pretend to know much about your personal circumstances, but regardless of one's background or social standing, one should always be able to live with pride in him or herself. Thus, if you truly did make light of yourself and your own abilities, that is an act of shame for which you owe yourself recompense. I... gods. Let me ask you a question, Reen. Do you like the Path of the Sword? Surprise! It's not really a matter of liking it or disliking it, I don't think. It's a part of my life, an inseparable part of who I am. That's all I wanted to hear. I feel exactly the same way. Laura. Ah. <laughs> so you two are friends again, then? Hmm? Were we not? There's never any rift between us that I knew about. Indeed. This was all handled rather neatly, I felt. Ah, uh, you're both so simple-minded. I feel like an idiot spending so much time trying to devise a plan to get the two of you to make up. Exclamation! Whoa, you did what now? Heh, <laughs> it would seem we've caused you undue concern. Jeez, can we just forget all about this and move on? Ha <laughs> ha Looks like the ground's dried after the rainfall, so to speak. Glad to see you all looking a bit less gloomy. Margot, we've got trouble. Big, big trouble. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Slow down, Luis. It's the first thing in the morning. And you're about to, about poised to wake the dead. You're making such a commotion. Where have you been anyway? You're late. Sweat, sweat, sweat. 
I'm sorry. I just got caught up on the way here. But never mind that. We have a big, big trouble. Something terrible happened over at the market. Something terrible, you say? Dots? What terrible thing has happened exactly? Well, it sounds like it actually took place last night. Two of the stalls over at the market were destroyed, and all their merchandise was stolen. Exclamation marks. That is most terrible indeed. A robbery? Oh my. I suppose that means the market might be opening late today. Which means we could end up with more customers as people wait here for a resolution. Luis, let's get this place ready. You got it! As for you four, this is our problem, not yours. You just focus on your field study and leave this incident to us locals. You have your own tasks to worry about, after all. Of course. We'll be back later. Thanks again. Alright. What should we do? Hmm, I have to admit, I'm curious. It's not far, so we might as well just go take a look. Alright, let's take a slight detour and see what's happening at the market then. Yes! What is happening at the market then? That is the question. I'm sorry, the Grand Market isn't quite open for business yet. Surprise. Oh, it's the students from yesterday. Good morning. Opening late today after all, I see. Afraid so. Guess you already know about the robbery yesterday, huh? The two merchants whose stalls were destroyed are still arguing about it. You bastard. You're not going to get away with this. Oh no, not them. The manager came to try and break them up, but he doesn't seem to be having much luck. I hope no one ends up getting hurt. What should we do, Reen? Er, maybe we could try talking to them? Hmm, considering everything that happened yesterday, it just might be the cavalry we need right now. Would you mind? Not at all. Let's go. How dare you destroy my stall, you damned coward! I knew your you country folk weren't to be trusted. Who else could have it have been? Just come clean and admit it already. Who are you calling a coward, you Heimdallian snob? You're the one who wanted my spot all for yourself. Calm down, gentlemen, please. Playing all innocent and trying to paint me as the bad guy here? You make me sick. What do you say we settle this right here and now? Bring it on. Hold it. Class 7? You kids again. Keep your noses out of this. Uh, I totally flopped their uh, voices. Keep your noses out of this. I'm going to make him pay for smashing my stall. Smashing? Surprise. Uh, it is smashed. Oh, they're both smashed. Wow, they really are completely ruined. This is awful. However, harming one another is not going to bring them back. In the end, they will still be smashed and you will be worse off. But this anger isn't going to go away unless I do something. He took all my goods too, so I haven't even got anything to sell. What are you talking about? You were the one who stole my goods. And you're going to give them all back right now. And fix the damage you did to my stall. Or else I... I can't be held responsible for my actions. This isn't good. I don't think they're even listening to a word we're saying. What do we do? Stop this at once! Exclamations. The Provincial Army! What? What is the meaning of this? It's the middle of the morning. This nonsense immediately. But... I believe you are the one in charge here. I demand an explanation as to what has transpired. Well, you see. The market manager explained to the provincial army officer what had happened the previous night. Hmm. I see. The solution is simple, then. 
Men, take them away. Yes, sir. Exclamations. What? What do you mean, take us away? Two stalls were destroyed. Two sets of goods were stolen. But the truth is as clear as day. Two merchants in the midst of a heated disagreement committed the same crime at the same time. But that's not fair. I Do you not think it premature to draw such a conclusion without any investigation? <laughs> the provincial army does, doesn't have time to waste solving the petty squabbles of merchants. But I'm not an unreasonable man. It's your dispute and you will be left alone. Continue and you come with us. The choice is yours. They're trying to force both merchants to forget this ever happened. To sweep the whole ordeal under the rug. Yeah, something about this seems really wrong. Like, ah. Da, da. Huh. Very good then. I'm sure you can agree that wasting time on shenanigans like this is detrimental to all parties involved. I hope you'll think twice before causing such a ruckus ever again. Now, if you'll please excuse us, I'm a busy man, and I have more pressing matters to attend to. There they go. Well, I guess they did stop these two from fighting, but they did nothing to solve the underlying problem. This isn't right. I see now how the provincial army here conducts itself. Dot. I'm sure you're both still pretty angry about this, but right now the two of you need to focus on keeping cool headed. If you have the time to fight, try to use the time for something more productive instead. You'll feel a lot better. Yeah. I shouldn't have let my anger take control of me like that. We can't open the grand market for business until we've cleaned up these busted stalls. And we're already running late, so I hate to ask, but would you all mind lending me a hand? Market manager Otto, with assistance from the merchants of the market, cleared away the remains of the two stalls. And with the help of Reen and the others on top of that, the grand market was finally able to open for the day, albeit behind schedule. Thanks to you four, we were able to open the Grand Market for business today, a bit quicker than I had expected. I can't even begin to tell you how grateful I am. Oh, there's no need for that. We barely did anything. I'm just glad no one got hurt. All the more reason to thank you. A merchant's stall is his livelihood. Any action taken against it can throw him into blind rage. And it's hard to bring someone back from that. It would seem the problems facing the merchants in this town are quite grave indeed. The provincial army may have intervened, but it's difficult to believe they'd make no attempts to find an amicable solution. Quite right. It's clearer than ever now that they have no intention of trying to resolve any issues involving the market. And I can't see that changing unless we decide to just accept the sales tax. Increase sales tax increase and keep quiet about it. Still, you'd think they'd at least be a little more subtle about the whole thing. There's no way those two merchants are just going to accept this and move on. No, I don't suppose they will. And if word gets out about this, it's not inconceivable for certain groups of people to begin boycotting the marketplace. Something definitely has to be done. I'm just not sure what. Shots. Surprise! Something wrong, Reen. You're awfully quiet. Are you feeling unwell? Dot, dot, dot. Sir, I have a favor to ask. Would you consider allowing us to investigate this morning's incident? Exclamations! What? Are you suggesting that we attempt to find the perpetrator who destroyed the merchant stalls ourselves? It's a kind offer, but as I said yesterday, this is our affair, not yours. Your students. And you have your own studies to worry about, and I wouldn't feel right interfering with them. We're students training for the military, though. 
We can't just stand by and allow something so unjust to go unchallenged. It's the provincial army's responsibility to address this, sure. But they're shrinking their duties, they're shirking their duties here. And that reflects per poorly on us all. Well, that's true enough, I guess. But do you really think we're up for something like this? I kind of have to wonder about that too. I mean, at the end of the day, we're just amateurs. We should at least check with Instructor Sarah first and see what she thinks. She's already told us. Put your heads together and think, and I'm sure you'll see what you need to do. Her words. This seems like exactly the sort of thing she meant. At least it does to me. Oh. Hmm. Dot dot dots. I see your point. Perhaps matters such as this may fall under the scope of our field study after all. Yeah, you do make a good case. I'm still not sure we're up to it, but I guess it can't hurt to try. Neither seek nor shun the fight. Very well, we shall do what we can. Are you really sure about this? I'm certainly not going to say no. I'm very concerned about the market and the safety of our merchants. So if you're 100% sure, I have to admit, I truly would appreciate anything you can do for us. Thank you, sir. We'll be doing everything in our power to find answers for you. Just be careful. Don't go seeking trouble. I don't want you kids being put in danger. We're dealing with a criminal who acts under cover of night. He may be capable of a lot more than just thievery and vandalism. Remember, I am responsible for your safety. If anything were to happen to you, I couldn't even look Van Dyke in the eye anymore. We'll be careful. We promise. I know I will, at least. I probably need to be more careful than anyone else here. Now that that's settled, we should act quickly. Yeah. Let's get this investigation started. Let's get this investigation started. Do da, do da. So, first things first. We need to decide where to start investigating. The logical starting point would be the Grand Market itself, the scene of the crime. Can't argue with that. We should probably get statements from those two merchants before anything else. Indeed. I anticipate they've calmed themselves by now, so perhaps we can get something a bit more substantial from them. We still have to ascertain their innocence or guilt in this matter as well. We'll need to keep a close eye on the time, though. If we miss the last train toward Heimdall, we'll have no way of getting back to the academy today. Plus, we've got... We've been given other tasks too, and I'd really like to get them done. In short, we need to keep moving. Our deadline is 9pm. Let's use every minute we have to accomplish everything we possibly can. Understood? You bet. Right. Right. So, we return to the Grand Market and speak to uh, this individual right here. Merchant... Uh, Heinz, Merchant Heinz. And to think, I was ecstatic to finally participate in the famous Celtic Grand Market. Ah, uh, what did I ever do to deserve this? Um, excuse me. You! Dot, dot, dot. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see me acting like that. I hope you can forgive me for my inappropriate behavior. Sweat, sweat, sweat. Um, he seems really down. It's quite understandable. He's a merchant in a busy market, unable to do business. So, what brings you here? Do you need something from me? Well, actually... Green explains that he and his classmates were investigating the truth behind what happened the previous night. You're... investigating? That's right. And we'd really appreciate it if you could answer a few questions for us. You may be able to help us find the true culprit. Dot dot. I suppose it can't hurt, and it's better than doing nothing, at least. You don't have to sound so... pessimistic. Well, can you blame me? You're students at a military academy. They're not exactly ace detectives. That is true, but we're still determined to find out who did this. We may even be able to recover your goods. Cooperating with us could prove quite fruitful. Okay, fine. I never said I wouldn't help you, did I? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say, though. It's not like I saw anything worth mentioning. You didn't? As soon as I made sure my stall was ready to open the next morning, I left everything set up and went home. 
The other merchants around here can vouch for that. Guess I should have left the stall un shouldn't have left the stall unintended though. By the time I got in, it was too late. The deed had had been done. But by morning, the stall had already been destroyed and your goods stolen. Come to think of it, what goods were stolen exactly? Oh, I have a sample with me actually. A bracelet? An accessory? Is this a brand that's popular in the capital? Been a real hit lately, yeah. I was hoping to bring the, the fad here by selling them at the market. But this is the only one I have left now. Ah, uh, I dread to think just how much money I lost in one single night. That damned coward, sabotaging my business. It's much too early to be jumping to conclusions. Do you have any evidence that proves his... Uh... I missed that word. No, but he's clearly the prime suspect. He was so against the idea of taking turns sharing this spot with me, he decided he'd destroy my stall altogether. I just know it! Of course, what does that say about you, good sir? I'm going to get him to give me my goods back, no matter what it takes. Please, try to stay calm. Um, you do know that if you cause any more trouble, the provincial army really will arrest you, right? Ah, uh, yeah, I know. But it's a matter of justice. I can't just act like nothing ever happened. It's wrong, on general principle. I'm begging you, please get my goods back, whatever it takes. Well, I can't promise success, but I swear to you we'll do everything we can. That much I can promise you. I think that's everything this merchant knows. Let's try questioning the other one. Let us try questioning the other one. Ah, uh, what the hell am I supposed to do now? Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you, but could we have a moment of your time? You're those kids from that military academy, right? <laughs> what do you want from me? I've got nothing to say sell to you, obviously. Uh, even if I did have something to sell, I've got no place to sell it. I'm basically ruined. And to top it all off, the provincial army and that other damned merchant are acting like I'm the one who did it. He's not taking this very well, is he? Hard to blame him, but we need to see if he knows anything that might help us. Well, you see, Green explained that he and his classmates were investigating the truth behind what happened the previous night. You're investigating this mess, huh? Hmm. Okay. Um. But would you consider cooperating with us? Sure, why not? Not getting my hopes up, as I'm sure you can understand, but... Hell, I've got nothing left to lose. Not exactly a vote of confidence. Hey, he's willing to cooperate. I'd say we cut him some slack and hear him out. So about last night. At the time the incident actually happened. Last night, huh? I don't know how much help I can be if that's what you're asking about here. See, I left the market right after arguing with that merchant yesterday. And I didn't come back till this morning. Stayed over at a friend's place. Another merchant. Just got pissed drunk and ranted at him all night. Hmm, and you're certain of this? Positive. Ask my friend if you don't believe me. He'll back me up. I wandered over here with an awful hangover this morning, and what I found gave me a hell of a start. My whole stall, in shambles. And as if that weren't bad enough, all the processed foods I was going to sell were just gone, without a trace. So the goods that were stolen were all processed foods. That's right, nuts, cheese, bacon, all foods that have a long shelf life, made with local ingredients. Now seeing all my stuff gone really sobered me up. It was like I hadn't been drinking at all. And that's when I went over to that fool's stall to make him pay for it. Why did you go straight to him? Because he was the one who did it, of course. He smashed my stall so he couldn't, so he could have that spot all to himself. Um, but that doesn't make any sense. If Heinz did it, then why was his stall destroyed too? He must have done that to himself. Probably figured if he'd destroy his own stall, no one would believe he could be responsible. Hmm. I don't know. That seems pretty unlikely. It's a bit... excessive. Well, I understand your frustration. Faceless accusations do no one any favors. 
and only cloud the true issue. Uh, but it's so frustrating. I've lost so much money because of this. I might have to shut down shop for good. That that is bad. If I could at least get my goods back, maybe I could salvage enough to stay afloat, but what are the odds of that? None of the other merchants saw anybody do anything, and the provincial army sure ain't about to help. Uh, I'm finished. Pure and simple. All the hard work I put into getting this far, and this is how the dream ends for me. Well, I'll be honest, I'm not sure how much we'll actually be able to do for you. But we'll do everything in our power to help you find some form of closure. Um, so cheer up, okay? I do appreciate that, but again, I ain't about to get my hopes up. Good luck, though. That's all the two victims of this crime have to say, it seems. What does everybody think? Hmm, I can't be sure, but I really don't think either of them is responsible. Both merchants certainly have adequate motive to damage the other's stall, but the chance of them both committing the same crime on the same night without crossing paths is virtually nil. It's not impossible that they were just out to steal each other's merchandise, but I don't believe that's what happened. Most of them have alibis confirming- both of them have alibis confirming that they were somewhere else when the crime took place. I'm inclined to agree. I just can't see either of these merchants being responsible for what happened. So we're going to have to look elsewhere to find viable suspects. Where though? I mean, who could it possibly have been? It's impossible to say right now. We don't have any solid leads. We know who the culprit wasn't, but how are we supposed to start narrowing down who it was? The market itself seems unlikely to produce any further clues, so we should focus our attention elsewhere. Actually, there is one thing that's been bugging me. There's one group of people involved in this whole situation whose actions don't seem to make any sense. Maybe if we can work out the reasoning behind their strange behavior, we can come one step closer to finding our cul culprit. Whom do you mean? I'm talking about... The market manager and his wife. The merchants in the market? The provincial army. Definitely the provincial army. 100%. Definitely. The provincial army. They haven't done a thing to try and solve this crime, despite it's happening right under their noses. And that begs the question, why not? Hmm, market manager said they're refusing to fulfill their role due to the tax issue, which means the provincial army should refuse to intervene in quarrels within the market as well. If that's the case, then why did they come and intervene this morning? Now that you mention it, it really doesn't make any sense. Their methods were atrocious, but the fact is, they brought that dispute to an end almost instantly. They did get involved. Yeah, one minute they're refusing to do anything, then the next they're taking a stand. It's definitely suspicious. My print exactly. There's definitely something unnatural about the way they're conducting themselves. And, since we have no other leads, what do you say we go to the army's guardhouse and take a look around? We might be able to learn something from them that could aid us in our investigation. Hmm, that may be worth an attempt. The guardhouse isn't too far from here either. Let's head on over and see what we can find out. AP increased by one because we answered the question correctly. <laughs> to the provincial army, which is over here. Yes, yes it is. Hmm, aren't you those students from that military academy, was it? What are you doing here? We're terribly sorry to trouble you, but we're hoping you might be able to help us with something. Could we ask you a few questions about the incident that occurred at the Grand Market this morning? What? What does that have to do with you? Um, we're visiting this town on a field study as students of Thor's Military Academy, and we would very much appreciate the chance to see how experienced soldiers such as yourselves handle difficult everyday situations. This seems a perfect opportunity for an anecdotal case study, 
and could prove most invaluable to our education, if you'd permit it. Hmm. Ah, uh, alright, stay here. I'll see what I can do. It looks like we might be able to hear what they have to say for themselves after all. Nicely done, Laura. Heh. <laughs> In times like these, we need to make good use of our positions. No one can fault a student for wanting to learn, after all. But now comes the hard part. Ah, this makes me nervous. Well, let's just wait and see what we can get out of them. Remember, it's not always that they s what they say that matters, but how they say it. And even more importantly, what they don't say. Right. Ah... Uh. I hope you appreciate us taking time out of our busy schedules for this. So what do you want? And make it quick. I'm a busy man, you know. He's not even trying to keep up appearances. Unbelievable. I'll be brief then. We came to discuss the incident at the market this morning. Would we be correct in assuming that the provincial army will be conducting no further investigation? Huh. Is that all you came here to ask? Is that all? Should the armed forces charged with maintaining peace in this region not be taking this matter more seriously? Laura, I'm not sure... <laughs> You've got a big mouth for someone your age. And it seems you have a lot to learn about how military units actually work. What do you mean? Let me ask you this. What should the number one priority be of the provincial army? in order to maintain the status quo. I'll tell you. Their number one priority should be to enforce the will of their region's ruling lord, Duke Alberea. As members of the provincial army, we with the will of the nobility is absolute. We're not just following our orders, protecting what we have a duty to protect. I assume you're referring to the local petition against the sales tax increase. So you're saying as long as a petition isn't withdrawn, the grand market isn't something you have a duty to protect. Interpret my words however you want. We're soldiers. We follow our orders. That's how the military works. And we don't need some fresh military academy in the keys telling us how to do our jobs. Really? Right is nuts. He doesn't even have a tiny shred of shame. I was hoping we'd be able to get something out of him, but it sure doesn't seem too likely anymore. Gods. So, is that it then? I hope this has been enlightening. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a job to do. Dot, dot, dot. Wait. Would you mind answering just one more question? Elliot? <laughs> Fine ask it well um do you have any idea what might have happened to the goods marco was handling you know the accessory merchant all he had left was that one sample hmm what are you talking about that merchant from the capital Heinz was the one who was planning on selling accessories what what did you just say that, that. question mark you are looking at me like that for how do you know that? I was under the impression he hadn't investigated the matter at all. Hmm, uh, how peculiar. We only discussed what each of the merchants was intending to sell a short while ago ourselves. Exclamations. Sweat, sweat, sweat. Yes, sir, we have our own ways of finding these things out. You do well not to underestimate us. Now, we've wasted enough time answering your questions. We are leaving. Do you think? The fact that they know what each of the merchants was selling means they did investigate the matter after all. But the burglary happened last night, and it was only first discovered this morning. Realistically, I don't think there was any opportunity during that time for them to do any digging, not without running into us. Agreed. I suspect they knew what each merchant was planning to sell well in advance of yesterday's incident. Though that would be easy information for them to learn, since Duke Alburea must have issued permits for both stalls. That's true, and the army would have no trouble gaining access to transaction records or something like that. But 
Why would they bother? Maybe they needed to know so they could prepare? Prepare for what? I get the impression that the incident at the market has been carefully planned out for a while now. I don't think those two merchants being given permits for the same spot was a coincidence either. It was probably done to get them to start fighting, so they could get rubbed while there was tension between them. Basically, to create a situation that couldn't be brought under control without the army's help. So the two merchants were being used all along. That seems to fit perfectly with what happened this morning. Meanwhile, the provincial army has shown no interest in actively working towards a solution, unless the market manager chooses to withdraw his petition. So they waited for things to get out of hand, then showed up to force both parties into an uncomfortable truce. Eventually, the merchants would get worn down enough that they'd feel like they have no choice but to withdraw the pet pet petition. Ah. This is turning out to be an event shadier, an even shadier situation than I thought. Yeah, but thanks to Elliot, I do believe we finally uncovered the truth of the matter. It was indeed some very quick thinking you displayed, Elliot. You'd make a fine military strategist. <laughs> I just got lucky, that's all. So what we know is the provincial army is somehow involved with the actual perpetrators of the crime. The only way to solve it once and for all, though, seems to be, well, to find them and catch them. But if this was carried out by members of the provincial army, that's not going to be an easy task. No, I don't think anyone from the army was directly involved. The soldiers here are far too proud to dirty their hands with such escapades. I tend to agree. Really, whoever the culprits are, I doubt they're still here in Keldic. There's just... There just aren't many viable places to hide such a huge volume of goods without them being found. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe they escaped by train? No, that can't be. Boarding a train with that much merchandise would raise suspicion for sure. It's been less than a day since the burglary happened, so they can't have gotten far. Maybe we should ask around on the main roads and see if anyone saw anything out of the ordinary. Someone suspicious may have spotted, been spotted leaving or even entering the town. That sound... That sounds like a wise course of action. Come, let's resume our search. We mustn't let this cowardly thief run free. I wouldn't dream of it. Right, well, that seems like a good place to stop this video. And when we come back, we will continue the investigation as well as take our two side quests. Anyway. Thank you all for joining me on this uh, journey once again. And if you liked the content, go ahead and click that little thumbs up button. And if you have something you wish to say, or you are dubiously compelled to say, go ahead and type those words in that box at the bottom of the video. And if you want to see more of this content, uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you want to stay up to date with all the new releases, make sure you click that little bell icon so you get notifications. Anyway, thanks for watching again, and until next time, we will see you when we see you. Ta-ta!